Dear Hubson fans, thank you for purchasing the H501S quadcopter. Please read the user manual thoroughly before any operation. Prepare one high-speed, large-capacity SD card and four AA batteries. Fully charge the quadcopter's battery before using. Install the battery and insert the SD card into the quadcopter. Make sure all the transmitter switches are in the downward position. Power on the transmitter and the quadcopter. Place the quadcopter and the transmitter as close as possible for a better linkage. The quadcopter is linked with the transmitter when the video is displayed on the transmitter's LCD clearly and the quadcopter's LED indicators blink red. The compass calibration is required when the linkage is complete. Rotate the quadcopter clockwise until the LED indicators turn green and blink. Then put the quadcopter's nose downward and rotate it clockwise slowly. The calibration has succeeded when the green indicators are no longer lighted. For a better and safer flight experience, please calibrate the compass whenever you are in a new flight place. After the calibration, push the left stick to the left bottom and the right stick to the right bottom to start the motor. Check the sound and the speed of the motors to make sure the motors work properly. Do the same operation to stop the motors. Assemble the propellers after you have made sure the motors work properly. Their propellers are classified as A and B. Please assemble the A propellers to the motor threads that are marked A by turning them counterclockwise and assemble the B propellers to the motor threads that are marked B by turning them clockwise. Lock and tighten the propellers. Place the quadcopter in a horizontal place. Check the vertical and horizontal angles, which are normally zero. When the angle value is more than one, or less than negative one, the quadcopter cannot ascend vertically. Then, recalibrate the compass in a manual mode as following. Pull down the throttle stick to the bottom position. Flip the GPS switch seven to 10 times quickly until the quadcopter's LED indicators turn red and blink. Then the quadcopter enters into the compass calibration procedure. The compass calculates the quadcopter's position and height accurately when the GPS is with six satellites at least. If the GPS satellites are dropping, the quadcopter will drift. Please change to an open flight place or stop the flight until the GPS regains six satellites. Start the motors and the quadcopter is ready to fly. Switch on the GPS function and the LED indicators turn green and blink. When unlocking the motors, turn off the RTH switch, otherwise the motors cannot be unlocked. Make sure the GPS switch is open when you turn on the RTH switch. The following introduction is for the operations. Push the throttle stick up and the quadcopter will rise. Pull the stick down and the quadcopter will descend. Push the stick left and the quadcopter will rotate counterclockwise. Push the stick right and the quadcopter will rotate clockwise. Push the stick up and the quadcopter will tilt and fly forward. Pull the stick down and the quadcopter will tilt and fly backwards. Push the stick right and the quadcopter will tilt and fly right. Push the stick left and the quadcopter will tilt and fly left. There are two black trim buttons next to the two sticks. One for the rotation and the throttle. The other for the pitch and the roll. You can adjust the flight performance with the trim buttons when the quadcopter is drifting. An extra function of the throttle trim button 
is used to control the quadcopter's LED indicators. Long press the throttle trim button to power off the LED indicators. Do the same to power on the LED indicators. The GPS switch and the camera key are on the left. When the switches are in upper positions, functions are open. When the switches are in bottom positions, functions are closed. The RTH switch and the record key are on the right. Press the camera key. The picture will be saved in the SD card, indicated by two beeps. Press the record key to start to record, indicated by one beep. The recording time is displayed on the transmitter's LCD. Press the key again to save the record. The transmitter has a built-in antenna and should point to the quadcopter without obstructions for a better video transmission. The figures on the LCD's top left stand for the quadcopter battery capacity, the quadcopter battery voltage, the quadcopter yaw pitch orientation, and the quadcopter coordinate. The figures on the LCD's top right stand for the transmitter capacity, flight speed, flight height, and flight distance. The figures on the bottom stand for the GPS satellites and its parameters of the quadcopter and the transmitter. The transmitter's sticks control the headless mode and the follow me mode. Press the throttle stick vertically to enter into the headless mode, indicated by two beeps, and the headless on is displayed on the LCD. Do the same operation to exit the headless mode, indicated by one beep. Press the elevator stick vertically to enter into the follow me mode, indicated by two beeps, and the follow on is displayed on the LCD. Push the elevator stick to exit the follow me mode. Pull down the throttle stick and long press the elevator stick vertically to enter into the main menu interface. Push the elevator stick down and select set manual. Push the stick right to enter into the set manual interface. Select on without altitude function or off with altitude function. When you finish the setting, Pull down the GPS switch and enter into manual mode, which enables the acrobatic flight's performance. Caution: The following four operations to fall drop the quadcopter are only for emergencies, such as when you come across airplanes or birds. This has been the introduction of the Hubson X4 H501S quadcopter. Thank you for your time.